What's up everybody, Primetime CP23 here, back with another Diablo 3 video. Today we are taking a look at a starter build guide for Monk for Season 23. Monk is going to start the season with the Rainman of a Thousand Storms set. Uh, not a great start, but it could be a lot worse. But before we get into today's video, please make sure to drop a like down below, leave a comment, and of course hit that subscribe button for more Diablo 3 content. Alrighty, so R6, not one of my favorite sets in the game. Fortunately, the greater of 20 should be pretty easy for you. But as always in our starter guides, we're using yellow gear only, minus the four piece set bonus, marquee level gems. I actually forgot and accidentally left a few items on my follower. So I did leave a flavor of time and Nemesis Bracers on. So after I hit the first pylon in the video, I just stopped using it. I stopped hitting pylons, so I only got a speed pylon in the entire rift. That's the only one I hit, so don't roast me too hard in the comments. I did use my oculus circles a few times, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, of course, I only run movement speed in these starter guides because life without movement speed sucks. No other paragon was used. And of course, in the cube, nothing beneficial. Flow of Eternity, Socrins, Gaze, and Ring of Royal Grandeur. None of those do anything. We're not using any of those abilities. For your skills, Crippling Wave with the Mangle Rune is gonna be your damage dealer. Cyclone Strike with the Implosion Rune is gonna group everything up for you. You use Implosion simply because it has the biggest radius. Inner Sanctuary with Temple of Protection. Desert Shroud on your Epiphany. Goal is to get Perma Epiphany as best you can. You're gonna need upwards of 50% CDR to have permanent uptime on Epiphany. I didn't get there in this build, but it was enough to make it work. Dashing Strike with Radiance. And then finally, Mantra of Salvation with Agility. This is just for toughness. Passives, we're using near-death experience. You could probably drop near-death experience since your follower now has a cheap death. I really don't like dying, so I used near-death experience anyway. Determination, Beacon of Yatar, and Alacrity. So we're attacking really fast. Not as fast as if like we had a flying dragon, but still pretty fast. And as you can see in the gameplay that you're about to watch basically you run up to enemies group them up hit them with crippling wave kill everything and move on with your life stat priorities the main thing you're going to be looking for is cooldown reduction i was at 56 percent cooldown reduction and i didn't have permanent uptime on epiphany so it's going to be really tough to get there but some other stuff that could help you out is area damage attack speed is huge obviously crit chance crit hit damage again cooldown one thing that is important to note is that the first gem you get every season at the start is a bane of the powerful so as long as you complete one greater rift before doing your gr20 you will have a gain plus 20 percent increased damage for 30 seconds after killing an elite pack bare minimum but ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a comment down below with what set you're planning to start the season with. Personally, I'm kind of leaning towards Monk, but I have not decided for sure yet. Wizard is, of course, looking stupid strong. Uh, we'll talk more about Wizard another day, though. So until next time, it's Primetime CP23, and we out.